2008 Land Rover LR2. I think we're going to try to recharge the system now. So pull the vacuum on it. It's still holding around 0.7 bar. It's been close to an hour now. And the only thing I need to do to get the bare minimum to get the engine running is drop the air box in, back in. So I'm not going to make a video for that. There are like six other videos I have where I'm doing it. Uh, one thing to note, though, <clears throat> is here is the, again, it's on the, the front brace there for the radiator support. Here's what we need to put into the system. So 25.7 ounces, plus or minus about a third of an ounce. Here's what I got. And these are, what, 12-ounce cans, net weight. So I'll be a little bit shy. I have a, a standalone recharge can. Maybe I'll just spray it in for about 5 or 10 seconds, just top it off a little bit. Just another thing I hadn't done was to re-secure the washer fluid, um, you know, the fill port. All right, drop this back in. This part's secure where it should be. Clamp is on. Electrical connectors on here. Actually connected the two Christmas trees for these guys into the airbox as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is close off the gauges. That'll keep all the vacuum within the system. And then I'm gonna disconnect this yellow line here and connect it to the male end of this guy. And then the female end is gonna thread into the top of the can here. And you can see there's a little depressor here as I turn it clockwise. It'll it'll push that that pintle down and air can sorry, refrigerant can flow through. Just to show real quickly here, turn these count uh sorry, turn these clockwise, still holding vacuum, third line is disconnected. And I've screwed this on manually. Again, keep this raised or turned counterclockwise so you're not really seeing anything. Added some Teflon tape on there. I'll be hooking up the hose in a second. Another thing I'll do is I'll start the car, but the compressor, the clutch isn't going to engage because the pressure should be, it's going to be negative. The compressor won't engage until maybe 20, 20 something PSI are available within the low pressure side of the system. All right, this did not engage very far on there. I'm going to try to reseat it one more time and then I'll start the car. Nope. So that's as far as that's going to go. And then once I have the car running, I'll open up the high and low pressure sides here. I'll see if this gauge is bouncing around at all. Um, and if everything looks good, then we'll open up the can. So I have the car running, have it on max AC, max cold temperature, and on recirc. Just to confirm the compressor is not turning there, the clutch is not engaged. I'll open up these gauges now. That needle is not bouncing around. So we're looking good here. And then I'll open this guy up. Sorry, this way. Let's see what's going on as I turn it. And while it's going, I'll shake the can a little bit. I can already feel it starting to cool down. You can see pressure's going up in the system. That sound you heard was the compressor just engaging. Now you see the inner wheel is, the inner part of the pulley is moving with the outer part. I'm shaking this. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to pause the video because um, we don't need to watch the whole thing here. Alright, so now I closed up the, the hot side and I can see that I'm running a little bit of a difference here, quite a bit of a difference between the two. I'm just going to keep filling and charging here. Alright, just looking again here, we're running 2 bar on the low side and about 11 bar on the high side. And this is still the first can. One thing I did notice on this cheaper kit was this kept frosting over. Um, I had to tighten it a little bit more with a pair of pliers. So I think this can is tapped out. It's not feeling cold as a can itself. The, uh, 
this is feeling cold right here. And the vehicle is feeling cold inside. Um, so I got about 32 PSI on the low side from one can. Let's get the second can in. As I went to release it, looks like a little bit more came out. Now I'm running closer to 35 PSI, so I'm gonna let this go for a little bit longer. All right, so this is feeling warm. The can's no longer letting anything out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this off. And then I'll close off the can. Well, anyway, I need two hands. I'll close off the can and then swap it out. Sorry, by closing it, I mean turning it counterclockwise to raise the pintle up all the way. All right, next can's in. Let me, uh, I'll open this up again. And tighten this one down. All right, we should be filling. All right, well, it looks like this is where we're gonna end up. I, um, I'm not getting much out of the second can, even though the system is pretty clear on what it wants, it's not really taking it. Sitting in here, though, this is really cold AC. This is pretty good. I mean, I've had better, but it's, uh, it's like 75% of what I was expecting, you know, if I had a whole new system. So I'm just gonna let this run for a little bit and then uh, I'll probably cycle the AC one or two more times. The fan is running. I didn't, I didn't show it in the video, but obviously it's, it's running. Um, and then I'll start buttoning up the, the front end of the car and the wiper cowl.